Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. This week is our Painter's Flower series and I have been working on pop art. The first artist has come into my mind is the most famous Andy Warhol with his bold coloured silk screen printing. And I'm going to show you how I interpreted his Daisy silk screen print. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our new tutorials. First of all, cut 3 pieces of 18 gauge wire into 15 centimeters. Take 3 pieces as a bundle. Grab the two stems with some green crepe paper with UV glue. Today I'm going to work with a set of yellow with blue and yellow with purple as my pop art colour. Cut the paper into two strips of 3 x 10 cm in the purple and blue and two pieces of 3 x 3 cm in the yellow. Now we need to fold this crepe paper into half for our flower centre. Do the same to all the paper strips. Use some hot glue to attach the folding together. Then we roll the two pieces of flower centre strips to the flower stem. And a yellow strip around half of the flower centre. If you prefer a bigger flower centre, you can add a few more layers. Next, we are going to use the red wires as the theme drawing lines. Wrap the 26 gauge wires with a strip of crepe paper and uva glue. I've used white with olive green on my blue flowers and white and light blue on my purple flower. Wrap two to three pieces of 26 gauge wires in the colored paper and another five to six pieces in white. After all the wrapping, we need to follow the outline of the template to shape your wire. A rough shape is okay. Use a pair of small pliers to help you with the angles. Make about 4 pieces of the coloured wire and another 10 with the whites. I've used 14 petals in each flower. For each flower, I've used 3 of the big petals and 10 of the slim petals. Wrap the bottom ends together with some paper and uva glue. Now we are going to draw on the flower center. Use the leftover wires to bend into a circle with two legs to be attached to the flower center. Add some uva glue to the legs and stick it in. Make a couple of wiggly lines with the same principle. Attached a white wire to wrap around the flower center with uva glue.
do the same to the other flower center. Bend the bottom of the wire petals into 90 degrees. Attach the wire petals to the side of the flower center with some hot glue. The arrangement is very flexible. Feel free to overlap them too and try to make sure all the petals are at the same length. After a few white wires, add a few greens as well. If necessary, flatten the bottom of the big petal to match with the shape of the flower center. Bring the bottom wires off so they are not sticking out. It should look like this. Next, we need to cut our paper petals out. According to the template, cut 30 yellow petals and 10 of the blue petals. For this flower, we are going to add some patterns to the petals. Cut the patterns out of the blue paper. Attach the pattern with some new glue on top of the petals. If they do not fit exactly, it's okay. We are going to trim the petals afterwards. You can also cut the blue petals into patterns and attach them onto the yellow petals. Make sure you have left a few plain yellow petals to break the color sequence. After you have finished decorating the petals, trim the petals to give them a tidy look. Curl each petal slightly. Attach the petals with some hot glue. Bend the bottom a little for attachment and make sure the length of the petals will match each other's. Fill in the gaps as much as you prefer. Your flower should look like this. Now we are going to make some bottom leaves to hide the bottom of the flower center. Cut the bottom leaves out of the olive green paper. Attach the leaves one by one to go around the whole bottom. Hold the leaves to the flower stem and wrap the leaves and the stem together.
do the same to purple flower. Then we need to shape our flower. Pull the paper petals downward. Curl the wire petals a little and pull them upwards. So you can see the two layers overlapping but also separated. And our Andy Warhol stasis are done. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you like it. If you like it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. It will really help our channel to grow. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials. And all our templates and DIY kits are available on our website. Check them out. See you guys next week.